Chris Janicek says he won't step down. Good evening, I'm Jennifer Griswold. Back in May, the Omaha baker won the Democratic nomination for U.S. Senate to take on Senator Ben Sass in November. But weeks later, the Nebraska Democratic Party released text messages in which Janicek made lewd comments about a staffer. The party wanted him to drop out. But as 3 News Now reporter John Kipper found out, Janicek has made up his mind. The Nebraska Democratic Party has been trying to get Chris Janicek to drop out of the U.S. Senate race since the early summer. He has until Tuesday to do so. But on Monday afternoon at his cupcake shop in Dundee, he said that he's staying in the race and will take on Ben Sass in November. I'm not resigning. That was the, the whole reason for this press conference. Chris Janicek was defiant Monday, saying he won the primary and that he won't listen to the Nebraska Democratic Party, who's urging him to drop out. While many prominent Nebraska Democrats have told Janicek to get out of the race, he says he has statewide support. Oh, the Democrats want me and the Republicans want me. You're listening to a few people in a bubble that say they don't want me. The Nebraska Democrats urged Janicek to drop out in early June after group text messages got released when she told a campaign staffer that she needed to get laid. The, the text message was wrong. It was inappropriate. It was disgusting. It was meant to go to one person. Janicek needed to make the decision by September 1st so Democrats could legally replace him on the ballot. They have put forward Alicia Shelton, the third place finisher in the primary, as Janicek's replacement candidate. But since he's staying in, due to Nebraska election laws, Shelton now cannot even be a write-in candidate. Alicia Shelton's a lovely person. I'm sure she may have a career someday in politics, but 2020 is not it. When asked how women can still support his candidacy in the fall, Janicek says this isn't the first time that something like this has happened in politics and that he's shown that he's remorseful. Because I've apologized, I've owned what I've done, and I, my apology has been sincere, and I've let them know that it's not an intentional thing. And I've reached out to several women, and I've reached out to the Women's Center here to do volunteer work. In Omaha, John Kipper, 3 News Now. Janicek says he is using his own money to fund his campaign. Campaign finance records show Janicek had around $7,500 in his account in late June. Senator Ben Sass had more than $2.5 million. They're set to debate Friday.